IE questions. Your energy questions answered. This question comes from Ben Silverstein in Maryland. Ben is a tea kettle fanatic. He owns over 70 of them. The humble tea kettle, it is the intersection of engineering and art. Ben wants to know, what's the most energy efficient way to bring 500 milliliters of water to a boil? And what method has the smallest carbon footprint? It's not just about making a good cup of tea. It is the part of a larger challenge, how to manage the energy in our homes. It sounds simple, we just have to get each of those water molecules to go from a liquid to a gas. But there are oodles of ways to boil water. Say you could get your hands on a nuclear reactor, you could boil those two cups in milliseconds. A giant solar collector could do the same. And if you're an astronaut, throw that water into the vacuum of space and it will boil instantly. But it won't get hot, and none of these tactics would actually get you a good cup of tea. So let's stick to your kitchen and the electric appliances in it. We want to know how much energy coming in through the plug gets to the water. That's what we call efficiency. A microwave converts electricity into microwave radiation, and 50% of the energy is lost in that conversion. The rest goes straight into your water. An electric stove delivers about 70% of its energy to the water, losing the rest to the air. A good electric kettle can transfer about 80% of its energy to the water because it's well insulated and the heating coil sits directly in the water. That's pretty darn efficient, but we can do better. An induction stove uses an electromagnetic current to directly heat a pot, approaching a whopping 85% efficiency. All of these estimates can vary a lot, depending on things like altitude, the size of your burner, even the metal in your kettle. But about that carbon footprint? The electricity running your microwave stove or kettle likely comes from a power plant. Turning coal into electricity pushes out about two pounds of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Natural gas power plants, just over half of that. Renewables, none. Where you live and where your electricity comes from determines the carbon footprint of your cup of tea. But the best way to save energy when making your morning brew, only boil what you need. Americans drink 662 million cups of coffee and tea a day. If we boiled a whole pot for each cup we drank, we'd be using four times more energy than we need. So brew wisely. What's your energy question? Let us know at ask.insideenergy.org.